guys, my name is Matthew. You guys can all call me MC Sports 15 Gaming. I will be making a new YouTube channel account. Hopefully, you guys can get me up there because I don't know if I'll do very good because I'm only 11 years old. But, you know, I will try very hard to make a really, really good YouTube channel. And it will be Clash Royale gameplay. So, today, in the first episode, I'll be making a Let's Play series. So, let's go ahead and go to Clash Royale. Sorry about the lag. I don't really like the music and sound effects on, so I'm sorry about that. So if you can't hear the gameplay, I'm very, very sorry. Um, later down in my videos, if you want to, you can comment down below if you want um, sound or not. Okay, so first I'll be using this deck I've been doing. It's a really good hog goblin barrel with zap. Also a battle ram with a wizard, electro wizard, Valkyrie and fireball. And yes, I'm only in jungle arena, and I do have the electro wizard, so that's pretty good. And do I need a fireball? Okay, let's head into battle. First battle. And you're going against a level 9. His name is, I'd say, Asui. I'll call him Asui. What's up, Asui, if you're watching this? Good luck. He's from Anor, London, okay? Okay, so he's going to play a tombstone. Give him the thumbs up. Good luck. And he's going to roll at me with a princess. So I'm going to start with a Valkyrie to defend this knight. And Electro Wizard to get that hog. I'll get the Ice Spirit too. Ooh, I barely got Oh, but the Ice Spirit did not die. So unfortunately, that hog's going to get some good chip damage off. And now I'll send in my hog rider. Wait, I, I'll have to wait until um, that hog dies. And I'll, sog and I'll hit, send in my hog rider. So... Sitting in my hog rider. Oh, that was a connection lag. You know what? For the sake of my first video, I am not going to edit out that lag. That is a crazy lag. Did you guys see that? That was freaking crazy. I'm sorry about not placing a card, but like it was lagging. Okay, so hopefully we can come back from this. I'll go other side. Once I get to 9 Elixir, I'll go other side. Battle Ram Barrel, and you know what? I'll just let him take that tower. I'm not too, not too scared about that. And yes, he's just gonna let me take out that tower. So there goes our first tower, and we came back with, with the thumbs up and things. That's cheesy. Our first episode, and then ooh, we'll send the Valkyrie in there just to get rid of that tombstone, so my hog can get past that. And. Yes, they do, but though, okay, so the ice wizard, he might send in a hog here, I'm not sure. Okay, so he does send in the hog, so I might have to go, um, I think I can go hog battle, can I go hog battle ram for the three crown? I'm gonna do it, I'm going hog battle ram for the three crown. And goblin barrel, just to send it in, and I have zap ready for any skeletons, like there just were there. Oh, my goblins! They took out the princess, so not on the tower chip damage, but who cares? He, they just took out the princess. And now I can Electro Wizard that. And then that's going to be frozen, so I'll throw in the Valkyrie. And then once all that dies, I'll send in the push to end it. So it's about to die one more, and the skeletons are gone. Throwing in the Goblin Barrel. I don't know if that's going to work. Come on, Goblin Barrel, get there. Okay, the Goblin Barrel's going to get there, but they seem to do pretty good. Now I'm going to set a fireball. Hopefully that does not miss. And yes, it gets a Princess Knight. Ooh, that Knight almost died. Come on, how did that Knight not die? Oh, he lightnings. He has a clutch lightning. He had a clutch lightning the whole time. And the hog getting slow down with the ice wizard. I'm going to zap the skeletons. And, oh, he arrowed it. He arrowed the goblin barrel, but they still got some good chip damage off. Here comes the knight coming in. The knight's coming in, and I am going to stop it. He might have the lightning, so I'm going to try to get this electro wizard with the hog. We got 20 seconds left. Oh, he's going to lightning, clutch lightning by him. He doesn't have any time left. 
I'm gonna go hog gob mirror again with a battle ram. I'm gonna zap down all that. And hopefully that should be game. And it is a draw, so yeah. Not very um, good battle from me, so I'll try better next time. Let's donate some Valkyries and, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Let's go to the next battle and keep the same deck. Sorry about the background, I'm outside right now recording this because it'd be fun for the first videos that record outside. So it looks like we're going against Fireball and two brothers. Ooh, he can throw down um, elite bars. I'll do that and I'll Electro Wizard that. And he's gonna go barrel, so you know I'll just let that barrel get shipped. I don't really I care, but I didn't have any elixir ready. Oh, that Electro Wizard's getting some good chip down, so I might go hog goblin barrel with zap if it's ready. And fortunately, yes, it is ready, so now I can zap these bats. And the Hoggon really gonna take out the tower. Is it gonna take out the tower? And it does. It takes out the tower. I'll give him a I'll give him a laughing face and good luck. Oh, and I did not see that hog. He might take down my tower right here. It's very fortunate. Yep, he would. I'm gonna do a crying face and do a wow. Hopefully that Valkyrie can stay alive if that baby dragon doesn't get her. And it does, and we can put a hog rider in front of this. And what's he gonna do to stop this? Let's see, oh, he's gonna throw his elite barbs down. Not, he didn't waste them, but still. And I'll be throwing a fireball to the bridge. Will that miss? No, it doesn't eclipse them both, so. Now the back one's in the back, and I'll just zap that, because there's the bat, so. Now I can just worry about that one elite barb, because elite barbs are very scary. Okay, so a pretty even match against the level 10. I'm probably winning, I'm winning by like 50 hit points, which doesn't really matter. With a minute and 14 seconds. Is he gonna do anything? I'm saying he's giving me a big elixir, so I guess he's not gonna, oh, he is, he's gonna go, hog got, he's gonna steal my push. That's pretty funny. Oh, my back, he's gonna click the two goblins and distract the dart and get the hog. So now that that's happened, I'll set up a, I'll set up a battle ram. Hog Valkyrie, he's still barely all oh, he gets it with a zap. And now my battle round comes in and it does, it takes it. And now my fireball on the elites, and now the Valkyrie for that. Okay, this might be bad, guys. He might take out my tower here with that hog. And But fortunately, I put Electro Wizard down, so now if I can get a hog in front of that, it should be good. Okay, he's gonna throw down a wizard. Okay, the wizard's gonna be distracted. It's not gonna hit the hog, but then it it's going to. Oh man, this is not very. This is looking not very good. Uh, the fireball, the dart, and the wizard. Okay, that'll take it out. Okay, I got a hog. I don't. I won't care about the hog. I'll just do hog goblin barrel, and then I'll have to electro wizard that. Will that take it out? The oh, I was at four sixty. Come on, we're off to an 0 and 2 star. We have to do better than that. <clears throat> I can't lose 0 and 3. So, I could change the deck up a little bit, but I'll wait to see what you guys say. So, this guy's name is Tonglong from Anahoy, however you pronounce that. I'm not sure how you would pronounce that, but I have a perfect push start out for the beginning. And I will get my zap ready for any skeletons or bats. He has Minion Horde and spears i'll probably go ahead and fireball that and, and yes it'll clip it all so that was a very valuable fireball hopefully i can stop the valkyrie with my valkyrie if i can get it in very quick come on come on come on yes i did but the fire spears too that's going to be a very good one but my valkyrie still stays alive <coughs> so let's see what he puts in oh he's gonna put a goblin middle i'll let throw through that get it one goblin get to get one chip off <coughs> it's only a level seven goblin so i'm not too worried about that so that means he probably has like a level two goblin barrel okay a level nine knight i wizard him i need to save some elixir though but you know i don't want a knight get on my tower i'll just go ahead and zap that not too big of a deal now hopefully i get enough elixir for my hog 
Ooh, he's gonna arrow it. I'm gonna say well played. Give him a thumbs up. Should I go battle him in the back? I might go battle ram in the back on this right lane here. And once that happens, oh, he's gonna do that. I'll go ahead and fireball it. I can set up my push now. I don't know. He might be an elixir advantage. I'm not sure. I'll look at the fire spirits to get some ship. Okay, now I'm gonna get that Valkyrie down. Wow! My, um. I don't want that. My, uh, Valkyrie, um, killed those fire spirits very good. Now, if I, only if I get a wizard up to kill these minions before it takes out my battle ram, and it's gonna take out my battle ram. But now, I have my goblin barrel. I'm gonna put it deep in the back. So if um, he tries to like do something, it'll get better damage. Oh, and that knight's gonna die too with the ooh the clutch fire spirits. But that fire spirit's gonna die if it gets hit. And one more hit, and yes, there goes the tower, and my wizard's down too. And now I should think I am gonna go electro wizard in the back here. Okay, he's gonna go there. I'll fireball that. And now I'm gonna set up a push over here. Now I'm gonna go hog battle ram. Hopefully the electro wizard stay in the back. Stay in the back. I think it stayed, oh, it stayed, no it didn't. So that tower right there might be gone. Oh, very bad there, but you know what? It's actually not too bad because of, um, okay, that knight right there, that knight's gonna be scary. That knight's scary. Okay, he's gonna go out with the Skarmy. I'm not really too worried about that, so I'll let that get some chip on. He has arrows. I don't know why he keeps arrowing my tower. Come on, this isn't um freaking goblin stadium here. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go triangle goblin barrel. I'm gonna stop that with a I'll hit that with a zap and now all I need is a fireball. He's gonna goblin barrel that and I get some good chip damage, but I'm gonna fireball right before he almost won that. My fireball, if that fireball didn't come on, I'll give him with a good luck and thumbs up and there are two clan crowns. I love the clan crown. Let's see how I'm doing in clan crowns right now. I just 18. Okay, we just started pretty good. And actually today I'll be doing um, for my first video. I'll be doing shout outs to. I'd like to shout out to everyone in my clan. So as you can see, but there are some people I want to shout out who are my friends. So first off, I'd like to shout out. Um my um our leader ted 1884 very good let's see his favorite for his barbarians he's doing a hog and hog bait i think so next we can do one of my all-time favorites my best one of my all-time friends my dad who is in hog mountain he's using it looks like a lumberjack hog deck okay with an electro wizard too he recently got that i think and now it'll be with my very best friend, my cousin, who's a co-leader also with my dad, who's a co-leader. Mr. Epic. His current favorite card's a witch. He's using his strategy that he's been doing. He said his Dark Prince has been doing very good. He also recently upgraded to level 10, so good luck for him. And, yeah, he's been doing very, very, very good. Very crazy. I don't know how he got there, but Princess... Tombstone, Fireball, Hog, Goblin Barrel, and he says Dark Prince doing amazing with a Witch and Inferno Dragon. So, yeah, big shout outs to him for getting all the way there. So, let's go to Chess, and yeah. So, oh, I had no idea. It looks like I'm in the Cannon Cart Challenge. I can also do some, I'll do, um, I'll do two Cannon Cart Challenges, and then I'll end the video. Okay, should I choose the Midi Pekka or the Royal Giant? Um, I think the Midi Pekka can counter the Royal Giant. And we already got to go. Um, I'll take the Royal Giant just because. We have a Graveyard or a Lava Hound. Okay, this is going to be a very good choice. Okay, my guy has a Golem. Let's see what else they can grab. I could either get the Graveyard or the... I'm going to go with the Graveyard. I, I can get the Goblin. Okay, I can get the Lava Hound with the Ice Wizard. I think the cannon cart, I played with it. I don't think it's very good, but um, I'll take the battle ram because I played with the cannon cart. It's just, it's not very, you know, good. I can show you a couple gameplays of it if you want me to, though. 
next battle we do, I'll, um, my last battle, I'll do a cannon cart if I can get the choice. So, my guy's taking so long, so I'm with Pegger Cafe, and finally he picks, and it'll be me <clears throat> and Pegger Cafe versus Mario XD and King. So, shout out to you guys, give them a thumbs up and good luck. And looks like my guys got Gollum Freeze, okay. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna quickly play the cannon cart. And we're both gonna play darts, and that cannon cart though, jeez Louise. I'm gonna go battle ram, barrel, and make it deep barrel. And let's see if they log it, no they don't, I'm gonna zap the Skarmy, oh, and the battle ram got there. The battle ram did get there, and that is tower, down. So I'm gonna give him with a thing sin. Mean face, sad face, wow, and laugh. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't make him too mad. Okay, my guy's got a miner. I think I can get rid of them. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to put in the ice wizard. Some spears. And I have a um, graveyard for this uh, golem, so yeah. Hopefully this does good. Okay, he's gonna throw in the dart, and they're gonna do a prince to counter, but I don't think that'll do much in a mini P.E.K.K.A. Okay, that dart's chipping away on the mini P.E.K.K.A., and I'm throwing my dart goblin, hopefully that, and he's at the princess! Perfect zap for the princess, because then the princess dies, and now I dart two dart goblins instead of one, because the princess could've shot the other one. They're going, they're going crazy on the tower, and they're gonna take out the tower! They do! They do! Dart goblins are unstoppable in this mode. They are so fast. Okay, he's gonna play a pump. Good move, good move, because he has a goblin. I have a weird giant. Should I play that right now, or? I think I'll just wait until he can get his golem. I don't need to get some elixir down. I'll trick him by going royal giant here, and then doing battle ram there. And he's gonna throw a golem, and if they don't defend super hard, okay. He can get his poison up. And, oh, he's gonna freeze the tower. He's going to freeze the tower. That he needs to zap that Skarmy. And now he's going to poison after the Skarmy's already dead. And there's a lot of stuff coming this way, but it's at 676. And I'm going to throw a deep barrel down. And I'm going to distract with the goblins on that side. And they might end up taking that tower there. Yes, they do. Oh my god, are they going to take two towers? Are they going to take two towers? Um, I don't know, but they might be coming in for the three gone. That miner's going to get one hit off. Miner's going to get one hit off. And the princess on the tower... The princess needs one more hit, and oh, the princess takes it. But I'm gonna go deep graveyard, and he's gonna go poison. I'm gonna go goblin barrel. He's gonna go dart. I'm gonna go spear goblins. I don't care about the push coming down, and it's at 70, and it's gone. So there we go. Three crown there. Let me get some pretty good crowns. And now on to the next battle. Um, in the next video, I'll continue doing the cannon cart challenge, and I'll show you if I did good or not. And it'll be live battles too. All this is live too. So yeah. Okay, I'm with uh, Chen Ching Chong. I'm not sure his name. What it his name is. I'm going against Winner underscore Own versus King Moon. Shout out to them. I think I can take the witch here, and I'll take the Goblin Barrel. I think I'll take the Princess and the Cannon Cart. You guys wanted to see the Cannon Cart, so I'll take the Cannon Cart. I really wish should have taken the elite bar but just to show you guys because you guys are amazing. I'll show you guys um, the cannon cart, so thumbs up, good luck. Good luck again. And my guy, he's got a baby dragon, so he might have like a golem or something. Okay, it's fire spirits too. He has a, okay, they're gonna split barbarian, so. Uh, playmate, what are you doing? And he. It was an okay poison. He caught the oh, and he's gonna arrow. That was kind of a waste of arrows though, because okay, I'm gonna have to witch that and Valkyrie it. Ooh, he got fire spirits. Club fire spirits. Are they gonna hit the elite barbs? And they do. Those guys, fire spirits. Don't underestimate fire spirits. They take out elite barbs very, very good. Okay, my guy's got a zap going. I don't know. We could push over here, but you know, it's not really gonna matter because it's gonna die. So I go princess in the back over here. Ooh, I've got a golem too, okay. I'll go cannon cart on this hog. So this hog dies quick. Because cannon carts, guys, cannon carts are like elite barbs. They are freaking fast. Okay, that bar barrel was kind of lazy and sloppy and was not centered very well. 
And I'm gonna, he's gonna throw his fire spirits down. He could use them for elite bars, but wow, that mopped up everything. I didn't even need my ice wizard. Okay, so now let's see what my teammate's gonna go. I think he's gonna, oh, he's gonna go psych on barrel, so if they log or arrow, it'll miss. Oh, but they're gonna get distracted by the giant. What a play. I'll go ahead and fireball this musketeer. Hopefully he doesn't do anything. Yes, he doesn't. That's good. And I clipped the hog too. I'm not sure why. They, oh, they probably wanted to put it behind them giant but i'm not sure i understand that because wouldn't you put the hog in front so anyway that might look like tower down one more hit princess with a clutch shot princess with that princess so it always gets that clutch shot okay now we're in overtime so i'm gonna go ahead and play my goal in the back still got a minute left so looks like we're good okay he needs a fire spirit that I don't know why you went cannon cart, but I guess I'll go double cannon cart too. And then we got a golem and double cannon cart going on. Which side is he gonna pick? Oh, they're gonna lightning in. It's gonna plant them. Wow. I'm gonna go ice wizard in the back of this golem. And I'm gonna go barrel. Okay, so they got barbarians. Oh, good poison. Well played to my teammate. Hopefully my teammate knew that was him. 22 seconds left. And yes, that looks like it's gonna be tower down. Tower down. So now I'm just gonna go which in the back okay they have our tower down pretty low so hopefully hopefully they take it down very well and i'm just gonna focus on this side this right side right here because of this um he took out the elite barbs on the left side with the fire spirits you do very good and that giant dies fast no hits off so if i can just cycle back to my golem but the cannon cart's too fast so i can't cycle back because now i was gonna make that a push but will you arrow it yes good arrows and the poison okay they didn't kill the goblins Oh, he's gonna zap it. Oh, they're gonna go double hog. This is looking very bad. Oh, but the fireball. The clutch fireball. Hopefully the tower can start targeting. Oh, we were just getting ready for the, um, that could have um, been a very, very good push. That should have been the game right there. Seriously should have until they hit that, ooh, that dirty lightning. They'd had that dirty lightning the whole time, so one loss so yeah so yep that's it for this first video guys if you have any questions comment down below and i need tips to help me get tips i really need some tips on some videos so that's it for the video and you guys can request anything you want i'll do anything you want so that's it see you guys hopefully, hopefully you all clashers you're all clashers if you're not hopefully this inspires you good luck and i'll see you later